The Lonely Road by Manmohan Goes Manmohan Goes Manmohan Goes, the first Indian poet to write poems in English was born on January 19, 1869. His family hailed from West Bengal who were the early adopters of English education including his brother Sir Aurobindo. He was educated at Manchester Grammar School and St. Paul's School in London and later won a scholarship to Christ Church, Oxford. His early work was published in Primavera, poems by four authors in 1890 with Lawrence Binion, Arthur S. Cripps and Stephen Phillips. In 1893 after the death of his father he returned to India and took teaching position at Putna, Bankipur, and Calcutta. His wife Malathi Banerjee died in 1918. He wished to return to England but died on January 4, 1924. The Lonely Road Published in the collection Songs of Love and Death appeared in 1898 in Elkin Matthews' Shilling Garland. Goza's devotion of his love for his wife, the desolation of loss and the quest to return to England inspired him to produce this poem. It expresses his sorrows of his lost wife and a sense of loneliness. It can also be considered as his longing to return to England, his lovable place, where he spent 22 years of his life. The poem is autobiographical in nature. Summary The poem can be considered as the one which reveals the poet's deep loss at the death of his wife or loss of being in England. Indicates his journey of life in the lonely road with no companion. He lost his wife and also feels like an alien in his native land. Poem is in first-person narrative and the poet addresses his wife who carelessly steps on the road of death before he has gone. Without her warm hands with him the poet feels the life's path is very rough and tough for him. He is feeling tired of wandering in the wind, rain, in the plains and the upland areas of the grasslands. He is longing and struggling without her togetherness. He says that his wife was with him under the cloak without any fear of the rain or thunder. But now he is all alone and the winter with withering leaves witnesses him as a lonely figure. His heart is no more able to hear the music of her voice and it is now passed away. His ears become deaf and can't even hear the music of any birds. He urges the songbirds to sing the sweetest notes and may bring back the moments which are lacking in his life. He considers all the sweet notes of music as the morning song sung and is repeating in his ears. As his wife is no more his world has become an empty hollow and all the sweet melodies are gone forever. It is only the fancy ear which is now able to listen to the music which she left and the poet says that he is longing to follow her. He expresses his longing to unite him with his beloved in death. For more videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.